So I'm an oncologist, so I treat people with cancer. And so um, I've done a lot of like personal work in the past and I read a lot of books and psychology is my pastime and I really enjoy that. So um, I'm not your you know, regular doctor who would you would come to and kind of tell you these mean things or you know, tell you gonna ha you have three months to live and stuff like that. I don't do that. So um, like I, I sit here in the class, I love, uh, obviously I have a lot of years of schooling, right? So you <laughs> go through that, you kind of, you have to love school, otherwise you never finish it. So I love school. Here it is. So I was thinking, I was obsessed, like why the defrag work? Like, and why, you know how he wrote a, like a little picture of the mountain? And so you have to kind of have the emotions build up and then almost close to the top, don't let the past over to the other side. and. Like why and why diffract? What does the diffract do? So then I think if you're going into and so I kind of figure it out. So if you're actually going into your memory and start thinking about things, so then you're pulling stuff kind of together from many different parts of your brains as as this one memory kind of converges into one solid memory. So there is this pathway of neurons that have to participate into that memory and some are visual, auditory, or whatever happens, right? It's like whole thing happens. And they kind of converge into one. If, if you want to imagine like a big rope of neurons that actually kind of um, um, have that memory circulating around, right? And so as these neurons are converging, you're pulling more and more information in, and more feelings and everything is kind of building up. You're going up to, towards the top of the mountain, right? So when you're on the top of the mountain, you already have everything that is actually contained in that memory. So if you, if you cut that cord or that, that big kind of rope going up the hill with the defrag, which really kind of almost like a little bomb, you send it through that big rope and it completely dissipates the whole kind of um, neuronal networks that you have in your brain about that one memory. If you tip on to the other side, it's almost like the whole house is actually on the fire. Now you need like five fire trucks to actually extinguish the fire. You're too late. So as you're merging in, it, you, you can actually still do it and still takes a little bit of top here and there and a little bit of tears and you kind of just move it around. But if, it goes, if it's gone to the other side, like you lost it, you lost the opportunity, you actually have to kind of then naturally kind of get out of it, get these fire trucks to come and extinguish the fire and kind of you lost a lot of time. If you do it too early, you haven't really pulled all the neurons that participate in that memory, so you actually is not going to do the job. So that's why it has to be like exactly the right timing. So that's all about timing, does that kind of make sense?